Hello everyone. So in this video, I am pulling out the basement floor. Now this did not cover the whole basement. Um, there was this one, I'd probably say it's about a fifth of the size of the basement. So on the left, where the brick wall is there, that is the center of the house. And then the right is the outside wall. And then the wall behind me in the video here, the back wall there, that's actually the front wall of the house. So this is, the basement's divided in half by the wall running through the center of it. And there's a doorway to get through from one side to the other. I'm not sure what the point was behind this exactly. The floor underneath it, as we'll see at the end of the video, is not in bad shape. And the only kind of irregularity to it is that clean out, which is uh, where that cutout in the piece of plywood I just lifted up is. That's really the only thing that's unusual with it. And let me just say quick before I forget that yellow stuff on the floor underneath the board I just pulled out, that is not some kind of weird gross mold. That's um like a fiberglass insulation type material. I'm not sure why it was there, how it got there, but it wasn't mold. Uh, actually, surprisingly, there wasn't a whole lot of mold down here at all. There were a handful of boards that were very damp um, and had some spidery white mold growing on them. But all in all, it actually was not too moldy. It was very damp. Um, dehumidifier was running nonstop. Uh, and at this point, it only had the little reservoir thing and I didn't have a garden hose hooked up to it. So it would take out whatever that little reservoir holds of water and then shut itself off. And because I was only going out there once a day, um, yeah, it wasn't really doing a whole lot. And with all the moisture being in this wood, the humidif or dehumidifier rather, probably couldn't even have really accomplished much. Um, so that's, that's really the big reason why I pulled this out is just holding in all that moisture and then dehumidifier would have had to have dried all the moisture out of all of this wood. And I was just like, it's, what's the point? Like the floor underneath here looks fine. So underneath the plywood, as you can see, there were long two by fours running pretty much the width. And then all these little short ones, these things were so overdone. There was four screws per end two going from the top side. And then on the edges, there were two screws, one on each side going into that long board. And because of the dampness and everything, a lot of the heads were rusty and a lot of them just stripped out as I was trying to pull them out. So uh, that meant I couldn't use the drill, but that was okay because I found other methods of doing it, which we'll see later. Uh, and here, just more of uh, pulling the floor out. And not to worry, editing will get better as I progress because... Uh, you know, I'll have more and more experience and more practice. Like right here. Well, you saw it for a fraction of a second, that one board. Um, that was like the worst board of everything. Just some mold on it. The sheets of plywood, for the most part, are in okay shape. So I wouldn't use them for anything inside, not like furniture or shelving or anything. But if I ever had to do a patch on something exterior or construction-wise... They'd work fine for that. Here again, we can see that one board in the lower right-hand corner that looks very white. Um, that's a lot of mold growing on there, but that's really the only board that has a lot of mold on it. And here I am pulling out those little cross boards. And like I said, didn't work very good with the drill, so I just started wailing on them with a hammer. And there were some sparks, but evidently there was not a high enough concentration of methane gas in the basement, so nothing blew up. Not that I ever noticed a smell of methane gas, but, uh, you know, it's always good that nothing blows up. And here I decided I'd bring in the big boys, because why use a little hammer when you can use a big one? And yeah, I basically just went through and smashed everything out. I wasn't planning on reusing any of this wood. Look, all these short pieces I'll just burn. There's really absolutely no point in saving those. Some of the longer ones, again, could be used for like rough construction exterior stuff. I wouldn't use them for any kind of like furniture or anything, which I will be building a lot of furniture and we'll hopefully have videos on a lot of that. But these boards, they've been damp. They 
they've got smells and they'd be good for like building a a lean to up against the garage or some kind of like a temporary exterior structure, but nothing for inside. Uh, otherwise, I can just chop them up and burn them. You know, it's it's not like these things won't burn. Or like uh, I won't have some place to burn them. I actually built a little fire pit thing and we'll burn a bunch of this junk in it. Which, it's a temporary fixture, but uh, as I progress on further and further, you know, and I kind of solidify ideas for the landscaping, I can do better. But for the time being, I was like, nah, it's not really worth it. So just cleaning up, you know, and like I said, the floor doesn't look too bad. It's dirty, but, you know, sweep it, maybe uh, go down there with some kind of a solution up on the walls. Like, uh, the, the walls are pink, which whatever. Um, and then there's like some rust streaks kind of just to the left of that white PVC tube. It's pretty much the end of the screen. Actually, those rust streaks are pretty much the end of the screen. I don't know what they're from. Uh, there must have been a pipe above it that was leaking or something, but I don't see anything there anymore. And then we got what looks like it's probably some mold growing on those walls. So I'll have to probably just do like a bleach and water solution and just wash down the walls. Just... The house hasn't been lived in for a long time. Uh, I first looked at it in February and didn't get it till like mid-July. And all that time nobody was living there. I don't know how long it had been empty before I looked at it in February. So spider webs and just... It's dirty. And uh, it's going to need cleaning. But that's okay. You know, cleaning's not like the worst thing in the world. Structurally, everything is sound. So that's good. And um, is this the boo-boo? I think this is the boo-boo. Yerp. Totally hits the tripod with that chunk of wood. If you couldn't tell, that's what happened, which uh, I would really hope you could. That time, those boards were still kind of up against the tripod, so when I threw it on top of them, it wiggled it a little bit. Here I am hauling all the wood out. Super fun. Like, the most fun in the world. Up and down the stairs, umpteen times. Just piling it all up behind the garage. It's a good place to let it dry out. And then uh, burn it all in a nice little fire pit. And I'll be done with it. So, I, I don't know what else to tell you as far as a commentary. Like, it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on here. But uh, if I weren't talking, this would just be a super boring, long video. Because uh, most of the original audio I can't keep. Well, I think this original audio I can. Yeah, I scraped my back on a rusty screw there. That was super fun. It hurt so bad. Um, but anytime I was in the basement, I was listening to music. Which, music and YouTube do not go together good. Get copyright claims, demonetize my videos. And like, what's the point of even making YouTube videos if you can't make money off of it, right? So, these boards that I'm pulling out here, this one and the one right up against the wall that I haven't started on yet, that one. Uh... Those I'll probably save for using to build some furniture and stuff because other than the bottom, oh, I don't know, maybe six inches that were on the floor and then coming up, they're still good boards. This chunk of the wall here will be pulled out. Um, the chunk of the wall that's now blocking the video of me sweeping. That'll get pulled out, but there's some electric running in it. I had stuff plugged into an outlet on there. So I have to, uh, I have to rewire a lot of stuff in the basement, actually. So I figured I'll leave that wall there till I do the rewiring, then I'll pull it out. But that way at least I have a couple spots to get the electric and everything. And like I said, the floor is not in bad shape. I don't see any cracks in it. It doesn't have heaves or pits. Just a lot of dirt and little chunks of wood from me busting stuff apart. Screws all over the place, but that's because I was pulling the screws out and not taking care of them. So... Yeah, once uh, the dehumidifier runs for a while down here to get it dried out, it'll be a great place to put in a little workshop. Put power tools down there, some shelves and stuff to store materials on, and I think it'll be great. I'll have some place to, you know, build everything for the rest of the house, the shelves. Um, that's 
probably really about it. Just shelves and maybe some benches or something. I don't know. We'll see what my needs are. So there you go. Tearing out the wooden floor in my basement. Thanks for watching.